best known for piano and organ playing, Billy Preston was a special one. In fact, many argue that, what Hendrix was to guitar, Billy Preston was to keyboards. His diverse musical talents covered a wide range of genres, including R&B, rock, soul, funk, and gospel. He was that good. On top of this, having worked with the best of the best in the industry, always gave him an edge over whoever he was compared to. He lent his talents to the likes of, The Beatles, Aretha Franklin, Sammy Davis Jr., Quincy Jones, Eric Clapton, Little Richard, Sam Cooke, Ray Charles, The Jackson 5, The Rolling Stones just to name a few. As a solo artist, he gained significant attention with hit singles like, That's the Way God Planned It. Like the good Lord said. He promised to exalt us. The Grammy-winning Outer Space, Will It Go Round in Circles, Space Race, Nothing From Nothing, and With You I'm Born Again. He also co-wrote You Are So Beautiful, which became a chart-topping hit for Joe Cocker. An interesting note in his career was his association with the Beatles. Preston is one of only two non-Beatle musicians, alongside Tony Sheridan, to receive credit on a Beatles recording at the band's request. The Beatles' 1969 single, Get Back, was credited as, The Beatles with Billy Preston, to acknowledge his significant contribution to the track. Even after the Beatles' breakup, Preston continued collaborating with George Harrison, along with other artists like Eric Clapton and the Rolling Stones, appearing on several of their albums and tours during the 1970s. In recognition of his significant contributions to the music industry, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame posthumously inducted Preston with the Musical Excellence Award in 2021. He left an indelible mark in the music industry. And even though he died on June 6, 2006, his music still lives on. Away from this, his journey to the top however, was not as easy as people think. This is Billy Preston's story. William Everett Preston was born on September 2, 1946, in Houston and later moved to Los Angeles as a child with his mother, Robbie Lee Williams. From a young age, he displayed extraordinary musical talent and was entirely self-taught without ever having a formal music lesson. By the age of 10, he was already performing as an organist on stage, backing gospel singers like Mahalia Jackson. At 11, he appeared on an episode of Nat King Cole's NBC TV show, where he sang Fats Domino's hit, Blueberry Hill, with Cole himself. In 1958, Preston even appeared in the W.C. Handy biopic, St. Louis Blues, portraying Handy at a younger age. Preston's musical journey took off in 1962 when he joined Little Richard's band as an organist. It was during this time that he had an encounter with the Beatles while performing in Hamburg. In 1963, he played the organ on Sam Cooke's Night Beat album and released his debut solo album titled, 16-Year-Old Soul, on Cooke's SAR label. Subsequently, he released the album, The Most Exciting Organ Ever, in 1965 and also performed on the popular rock and roll show, Shindig. During the mid-1960s, Preston's talents caught the attention of several musicians, leading to numerous requests for his contributions to their recording sessions. In 1967, he joined Ray Charles' band, further elevating his reputation as a gifted musician. Preston's association with the Beatles began in 1962 when he befriended the band. He became involved in the Beatles' Get Back sessions in January 1969. John Lennon even proposed the idea of having Preston join the band as a permanent member, but Paul McCartney disagreed due to the complexities of reaching agreements with five members. Despite not becoming a full-time member, Preston contributed his skills on organ and electric piano to several of the Beatles' Get Back sessions, some of which were captured in the film, Let It Be, and its accompanying album. In April 1969, the Beatles released their single, Get Back, with the credit, The Beatles with Billy Preston, to highlight Preston's significant presence on the track. Apart from his contributions to Get Back, Preston also played a limited role on the Beatles' Abbey Road album, providing his skills on organ for tracks like I Want You, She's So Heavy, and Something. Signed to the Beatles' Apple label, Preston released his solo album, That's the Way God Planned It, in 1969, produced by George Harrison. The title track from the album became a hit single in Britain. His collaboration with Harrison continued beyond the Beatles' breakup in 1970, with Preston being the first artist to record Harrison's subsequent international hit, My Sweet Lord, on his 1970 album, Encouraging Words. Throughout the 1970s, Preston's solo career flourished, marked by successful releases like Outer Space, an instrumental track that popularized the clavinet sound in funk music. 
the song reached number 2 on the US Billboard Hot 100 and topped the R&B chart, winning Preston a Grammy Award for Best Pop Instrumental Performance. His other chart-topping singles during this period included, Will It Go Round in Circles, Nothing From Nothing, and Space Race. Preston's musical prowess and popularity also led to significant collaborations with other artists like Stephen Stills, for whom he contributed the iconic phrase, If you can't be with the one you love, love the one you're with, on a hit single. Preston's association with the Rolling Stones began in 1970 when he started playing keyboards, including piano, organ, clavinet, and synthesizers, for the band. During this period, he played alongside other pianists like Nicky Hopkins and Ian Stewart on the Stones albums Sticky Fingers, Exile on Main Street, Goat's Head Soup, It's Only Rock and Roll, and Black and Blue. As the band's primary touring keyboardist from 1973 to 1977, he even performed as a support act with his own band during the Stones' 1973 European tour. Preston's musical collaborations extended to songwriting as well. He, along with Bruce Fisher, co-wrote one of Joe Cocker's biggest hits, You Are So Beautiful, in 1974. In 1978, Preston portrayed Sgt. Pepper in the film, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, based on the Beatles' album of the same name. The penultimate song of the movie, Get Back, featured Preston singing and dancing. However, as the 1980s approached, Preston's career faced challenges due to his struggles with drug and alcohol addiction. These personal battles caused his solo career to lose momentum. In 1984, Preston parted ways with Motown and focused on session work. He contributed to works by artists like Luther Vandross, Whitney Houston, and Patti LaBelle. He also served as the musical director for the late-night talk show, Nightlife, hosted by David Brenner. Despite the challenges he faced, Preston continued to collaborate with various artists, including Eric Clapton, Gary Walker, and Ringo Starr, with whom he toured and appeared on a live album. In 1991, Preston checked into a drug rehabilitation program to address his addiction issues. However, in the same year, he faced legal troubles, including being charged with sexually assaulting a 16-year-old boy and violating his probation for a drunk driving conviction. These incidents led to jail sentences and probation, during which Preston continued to battle his addiction. Despite his personal struggles, Preston's musical talent continued to shine in the late 1990s and early 2000s. In 1997, he recorded the album, You and I, with the Italian band Novacento in Italy. He also appeared on the UPN comedy show, Good News, in 1998 and sang and played synthesizer in the film, Blues Brothers 2000. In 2001, Preston received the news of George Harrison's death while he was touring and facing his health problems. He, along with other longtime friends of Harrison, performed in the 2002 concert for George at the Royal Albert Hall in London, where his rendition of My Sweet Lord received critical acclaim. Preston's final recorded contributions included performances on the Ray Charles album Genius Loves Company and Eric Clapton and J. J. Cale's album The Road to Escondido. Preston suffered from kidney disease, which was exacerbated by hypertension. In 2002, he underwent a kidney transplant, but his health continued to deteriorate. In November 2005, while in a drug rehabilitation clinic in Malibu, California, he suffered from pericarditis, leading to respiratory failure and a subsequent coma. Tragically, Preston passed away on June 6, 2006, in Scottsdale, Arizona. Billy Preston left behind an enduring musical legacy, remembered as a versatile and gifted musician whose contributions spanned multiple genres. In recognition of his outstanding achievements, Preston received nine Grammy Award nominations and won two. His accomplishments were further acknowledged when he was posthumously inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame with the Musical Excellence Award in 2021.